Nima, the concept of black holes has entered popular parlance. Everybody sort of talks about it as a metaphor. But as a physicist, when you consider black holes in the universe, this place of, of infinite density and, and uh, uh, 100% curvature of space-time, uh, uh, what is the deep significance? Well, first of all, black holes were the first place where the full glory of general relativity uh, in the way that a curve of space and time um, manifested it itself. Uh, in fact, it was, the existence of a black hole was so surprising that even Einstein himself didn't really believe that they would physically exist. But, uh, but black holes are really the first time when, when uh, a very radical departure from a, a Newtonian picture of the world was, was, uh, was needed, even within the confines of, uh, of uh, classical physics. Um, uh, when you add quantum mechanics, uh, black holes are, are a great little laboratory where the ideas of quantum mechanics and general relativity really collide. Um, and uh, uh, while normally we think that the effects of quantum mechanics and gravity should only be important at very, very tiny distances, maybe near the center of the black hole, near the beginning of the universe, uh, uh, since Hawking's re uh, realization that, that black holes actually emit radiation, there has been uh, a very big puzzle known as the uh, black hole uh, information puzzle um, regarding what happens when you form a black hole and then it uh, evaporates away and gets smaller and smaller until finally it reaches a, a tiny size and it, it disappears altogether. Um, this process appears to be describable uh, using only long distance physics without knowing anything about the details of quantum gravity. On the other hand, when you apply these rules, uh, you get an apparently uh, crazy answer that uh, that uh, the answer that that actually Hawking advocated that uh, that that information is gobbled up by a black hole, and so if you throw an encyclopedia in, by the time the black hole is gone, all the information in the in the encyclopedia has totally disappeared. So uh, so so black holes have a theoretical significance because they're a place where away from regions where you would think um, uh, quantum mechanics and gravity are fighting each other. But where the curvatures of space and time are low, everything is very macroscopic, something very funny in quantum is, uh, is uh, happening in a way that we still don't understand in great detail, but, but which we have some, some beginnings of, of an understanding for. So theoretically, how can we then begin to use this laboratory, which is a wonderful concept, where we can try to integrate general relativity how space-time curves with quantum mechanics, which is the 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 structure of the of the of the atomic and subatomic uh, levels. Well, uh, again, the, the 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 integration begins with uh, with uh, with Hawking's realization that uh, uh, that uh, while in a classical world the black hole is completely black. Um, it means no radiation can nothing, escape. Nothing at all. Nothing. Can, not, can not nothing, light. No information. Nothing. Nothing at all can escape. Which already uh, has, has a sort of uh, uh, pe peculiar feature that it tells you that there's a region of space and time that uh, that no observer can confirm exists. <laughs> um, by which I mean, in a classical picture of the world, there is a there is there is a black hole. But uh, um, if sitting outside the black hole, I want to send a friend in to see, hey, does it really look like <laughs> the, the way Einstein predicts it looks inside the black hole? Uh, that person can go in and go inside the so-called event horizon, and you know they're in there and say, "Yeah, everything's looking fine." But then they can never come back out and uh, give me that information. So already in a classical, in the classical world, uh, black holes divide up space-time into into regions that are disconnected from each other. But in the, in the quantum world, uh, 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 Hawking's radiation. Uh, allows the beginning of a, of a communication between these, these regions. And that's something that can be explored theoretically. So does that give us any possibility of considering the, the whole issue of multiverse, multiple universes, which are also disconnected in space-time? Uh, does that give us any hope for using black holes as, as a window into other universes or as a, a mechanism for seeing parallel ways of, of maybe getting information? Are any of these possibilities? That's, 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 uh, that's a really fascinating possibility. And if we understood the inside of black holes better, uh, we might indeed be able to make such a connection. What we have a good, uh, at least theoretical, understanding of now is what happens when you 
throw stuff together to make a black hole and it evaporates and the stuff comes out. So we have an understanding of what things look like from a distance. We still don't understand how to describe what happens to someone who falls into a black hole and eventually hits the singularity of the black hole. And I suspect that progress on that problem will translate to uh, uh, new ways of thinking about the multiverse. Does the singularity of the black hole have any significance for the singularity of the initial Big Bang? Um, well, what the singularity looks like is not terribly different. Uh, it's different in detail, but it, but it seems to have some similarities with the singularity of the Big Bang or a big crunch. Um, and so indeed, if we could understand that singularity better, also probably it'll have uh, significance. To what are some of those questions. characteristics? Well, uh, just as you approach the singularity, uh, energies get higher and higher, curvatures get larger and larger. And it's also a singularity in time, because, uh, because falling towards the center of a black hole has the, uh, there's nothing you can do to avoid hitting uh, the singularity, much like in a universe that's collapsing, the march of time makes it impossible to stop, uh, 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 to stop you from hitting the uh, inevitable big crunch singularity. That's in fact what characterizes the inside of a black hole. The role of space and time gets reversed relative to what you think is going on uh, outside. And so there's, there's analogies. There's certainly analogies between the, sing the black hole singularity and a cosmological singularity. They're not identical in detail, but there's certainly strong analogies between them.